The Golden State Warriors just took home their second Larry O'Brien trophy by defeating the Cleveland Cavaliers in five games for the second time in the last three seasons. But my question that I want to ask you guys, and the question I'm wondering myself, could they have done it without the finals MVP, K? D. He averaged 35 points and 8 rebounds the entire series. He went off and he stole the King's crown. But how would they have done without him this season? In order to do this, we're going to have to trade KD back to the team he left, the OKC Thunder. And we're just going to replace him with Harrison Barnes. So basically, the 2016 Warriors team is going to stay intact for this simulation. Harrison Barnes... You're coming back to your former team, and this is just a completely lopsided trade all around. I guarantee if the Mavericks were offered this, they would die. They would die. I will remember you. Obviously, we're not even going to be using that trade override in this trade because they would be completely foolish to deny this trade. Yeah, yeah, right? He was farting in bathtubs and laughing your ass off. Do you want to make this trade, accept the trade? Obviously, they're going to agree to this trade offer. The second step in the simulation is to trade KD back to the OKC Thunder. Now, in this world, the Serge Ibaka trade went through, and the Thunder still have Victor Oladipo. So, we're going to trade KD, I believe, for Jeremiah Grant and just swap them out. It's going to be an easy trade, and now KD returns, makes his return to the Thunder for the 2016-2017 season. So the original death lineup is back intact. We have Curry, we have Thompson, we have Barnes, Draymond Green the four, and Pachulia at the five. And of course, coming off the bench is Iggy, McGee, Livingston, David West, and Matt Barnes. And I give a few minutes to the rookie James McAdoo. Let's see what happens this season. I made sure to turn injuries off as nobody for the Warriors was injured besides KD for a little bit. Let's see how the Warriors handle the regular season. They're not coming out of the gates very hot with a 6-6 six and six record. Of course, this same team finished the year last year with a 73-9 and nine record. So I'm expecting around probably 50 wins. If they have any less than that, it's going to be an extreme disappointment for the Oakland fans. Now, of course, Steph Curry in this lineup has a tremendous opportunity to repeat as the MVP of the league. We just passed the All-Star break, and we're sitting at a 500 record about. We're up and down between the 8th and the 17th if we make the playoffs. The playoffs? Don't talk about it. playoffs. But if we can turn this season around, Right now, we should be able to bump up and hopefully get at least to the 3 or the 4 seed. You can see right here, we went on a gigantic tear in the month of February, only losing one game between February 28th and March 21st. And now we're slowly climbing the ranks as we gain more and more chemistry. And it looks like we're going to be the 5th seed entering the playoffs. As anticipated, Steph Curry's numbers jumped way up in the absence of KD, averaging 29, almost 30 points per game. His assists were at 7.3. Klay Thompson, of course, he's going to average better as he's getting more and more shots with KD being gone. Draymond Green didn't really have a great season, averaging 8 points a game, and Harrison Barnes contributed 15 points a game. But the most shocking thing, I feel, is that the OKC Thunder, the team that Durant went back to, is the number one seed in these playoffs. Simulating the first round, we get the first one, we get the second one, we get the third one, and we knock out the Spurs. But the OKC Thunder didn't even make it past the first round as the Clippers knock them out by knockout the warriors easily just handled the clippers as they probably would in real life if they played now memphis is coming up and they're a gigantic test as they can be some fits for the warriors considering they have some big man depth and just like that the warriors were knocked out of the playoffs but how much credit are you going to be giving to that considering Memphis won the playoffs and they faced Milwaukee. Now, I know Milwaukee's an up-and-coming team, but I don't think that they take down the Cavs in a sweep, and I also don't think they would have beaten the Bulls. Nor do I think 
that we wouldn't have anything but a rematch. The three-peat, the grudge match, the rubber match between the Warriors and the Cavs again. Personally, I don't think that the Warriors would have won the NBA championship if they didn't have KD because he was such a beast in the long run. And because of the moves that the Cavs make to add some depth to their bench, although it didn't really turn out that well in the playoffs, I just think that if the Warriors didn't pick up KD, we would be looking at a repeat for the Cleveland Cavaliers. But tip your hat to the Warriors. They went out, they made a gigantic move, and now they potentially have a dynasty for the near future. As always, stay frosty. Leave your comments down below. Tell me what you think would have happened if the Warriors didn't pick up KD. Remember, I love you, and I'll catch you next time.